Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. As always, this is your Intuitively Awakened Star Seed here with another message for you guys. Thank you so, so much for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I'm sending you love, light, gratitude. Thank you guys so, so much for all of your support. We're going to go ahead, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, and tap right in. You guys, I am picking up on some energy here, some regrets. I'm picking up on some regrets. I'm picking up on a separation, um, a no contact, but I'm picking up on third party energy here. Some deep regrets, right? Somebody's regretting their choice regarding you. That's what I'm getting. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Let's go ahead and tap in to this message and see what the T is, okay? Let's go ahead and start with the tarot. Spirit, <clears throat> excuse me, somebody doesn't, throat chakra, <laughs> there's my voice already. Somebody doesn't want this message, message getting out. Spirit, please give us a clear message for the collective. Please remember to take only what resonates with you. What does not, please leave it. All energy is fluid, so it can be for your past, your present, or your future. He, she, him, her. People, places, things, spirit. What is the message for the collective? What is going on here? Because I'm picking up on some chaos here. Some conflict. Yep. What else we got? Spirit, please give us more for the collective. What is going on for the collective? Ooh, okay. Somebody was trying to balance you. Was somebody trying to juggle you? That's what I'm seeing here, right? So this was like a third party situation or you seen that this is what somebody was trying to do, right? Yes. Huh. Look, your ship sailed right away from it, right? Mm-hmm. Somebody's regretting that. Somebody is definitely regretting that. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Yep, they are regretting that. Letting you walk away. Oh, they lost their happily ever after with you. But they're just now realizing it. I feel like they're realizing it, right? I feel like you pulled away and they ended up in a whole karmic cycle. They thought that this false person was their person. They thought this person was their happily ever after. And they can't hold back anymore that they miss you, child. Oh, there is chaos with the third party. Spirit, please give us more. They thought the third party was their happily ever after. It was an illusion. That was all an illusion, fake person, false person, right? Ah, oh, now they're realizing, look, it was you the whole time. Yeah, it was you the whole time. See, this divine masculine was, they were being removed. Like, it was like this divine masculine was ascending and they were being removed from low vibrational energy. They were being removed from this toxic codependent energy and they stepped backwards, right? <clears throat> they tried to have you in a whole love triangle is what I'm getting. It was like they were insecure. They thought that they still had to keep this person or someone around. <clears throat> they didn't have the courage. Yeah, at the time, they were fragmented, distorted. It was like they didn't have the courage. Um, they weren't strong enough to just be with you. They didn't realize they had a whole divine feminine. And they fumbled it for some codependent energy, quality. And they chose quantity over quality at this point is what I'm seeing here, right? They are regretting this choice and there's chaos going on. <clears throat> because they're seeing now you're their wish fulfillment. You've been their wish fulfillment the whole time. You are the privileged lady, not this codependent third party that they ended up with. They're in a whole karmic cycle, child, and they want a new beginning with you. I cannot make this up. Look at these cards. Mm, 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 mm. The Ace of Cups, that's all about new beginnings. Love overflowing, right? This person's heart is overflowing with love for you, right? 
But I feel like this person really thought that they could find another divine feminine. The way you loved on them, the way you treated them, that was all an illusion. That was like a, a, a huge, that was a huge facade, right? And this person is like a fake, this is a fake divine feminine. This is a false person. This is a copycat, right? And it's like they ended up taking the bait, falling for this. It's like a, a, a costume that they're wearing. Child, look, and it's been revealed. I can't make this up. Look, with the moon card. Yeah. <clears throat> this has all been revealed. They're in a whole karmic cycle missing you, divine feminine. Chaos is erupting because this divine masculine can't hold back anymore. I feel like they have confessed. They have told this divine, this karmic, this karmic feminine, that divine feminine is who they love. They're in love with you, divine feminine, and they're not holding back anymore. Like they're not playing a role. Yeah, they're not playing this role acting, you know, because their heart is broken over their choices. Right? This is the consequences. Karma is what I'm picking up on here, right? This is karma for this choice that they made, but this is a lesson that they had to learn. And I'm getting this lesson has been learned, y'all. Yeah, there is a lot of chaos. A lot of chaos because it's like this chaos is erupt erupting over divine masculine not only pulling their energy back, but this divine masculine can't hold back how they feel. They saying how they feel about divine feminine to this third party. Yeah, they're like you, divine feminine, loving, nurturing energy. That's that's my happily ever after. And I tried to juggle my happily ever after, and now I'm here. It's like this divine masculine is kicking themselves like, how did I get here? This is the painful truth. Divine masculine's revealing the painful truth to this third party. Y'all. Mm. Yes. They love you. Deep despair. Deep regrets. Look, they are abandoning this karmic, this third party. They are abandoning this situation. Oh, child, I'm seeing isolation. This divine masculine has been thinking about you. Thoughts of you are keeping them awake is what I'm getting. Yeah, they're having dreams about you or trying to communicate with you through the your dreams. <coughs> this divine masculine is trying to manifest you back, right? But I'm also picking up on telepathic communication. They're trying to communicate with you through their your dreams. Yeah. Or they're sending you messages hoping that you'll hear because you guys are in no contact, right? Because I feel like you, I'm picking up on the energy, divine feminine. First of all, you're a divine feminine. You're not, you, you, you don't do love triangles, right? No, you don't, that, that whole love triangle thing, no. Mm -mm. Yeah, but I feel like this divine masculine, they wishes that they they wish that they could pick up the phone. They wish that they could contact you. They wish that they could talk to you again, right? But they know the way that things ended, you feeling disrespected. They're, that's why they're trying to communicate telepathically. That, they know that they've fallen from your grace. Yeah. Because I feel like intuitively you picked up that something was going on with them in this third party, right? And I feel like they, they didn't come clean. But intuitively you knew, right? So you pulled your energy back. 
now it's all playing out. I feel like the community knows, like every, the, uh, the community, people, the neighborhood, people know that Divine Masculine was with this third party. They're embarrassed of their decision. They're embarrassed that they went back to this energy. And now they can't, this is divine intervention, right? This is like the universe is bringing you guys back together, right? This is why divine masculine can't even, they can't even like not communicate with their feeling right to this third party. Yeah. It's like, I don't want to be here. I feel like this Divine Masculine has told this third party, I don't want to be here. I'm so sorry. I messed up with Divine Feminine over you. I messed up. My true love, my Divine Counterpart, my soul partner over you. This is the, this is the type of energy that I'm getting that Divine Masculine is saying. It's like the very painful, harsh truth. This Divine Masculine regrets what happened and they're deep in despair. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like this Divine Masculine was just like really... It was like all of a sudden this Divine Masculine didn't even have any type... It was like no attraction. It was like the complete opposite with this, this karmic. And it was like overnight, right? Just a complete shift. That's the universe bringing you guys back together. This is not what the journey was supposed to bring. This was not the divine plan for you guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look what I say. Transformation. Oh, death card. Yeah, this is coming to an end. <clears throat> mm hmm Look at this. Transformation. Yeah. Something coming to an end, a new beginning. You could be seeing 1010. Angel number 1010. Mm-hmm. Yep. Liberating from old ways. Also, too, eighth house is showing up here. Yes. Oh, look at this. Mm, clear communication is going to be coming. Or they want to communicate with you, but it's like you, this no contact. You stood on business, Divine Feminine. They want to reconcile with you. Major regrets here. They want to reconcile. They want to reconnect. They want to make things right with you. And it's no secret. So, wow, look. Burden. They are burdened by this choice that they made. Yeah. They're burdened by the choice that they made to go with this karmic, this third party. And it wasn't like, I feel like you pulled your energy back. You made the choice for them. So it was like, you're not going to play with me. That's divine feminine's energy. So they met the queen of swords with you. They were comfortable being loved on and everything and, you know, just pushing the envelope off the table is what I'm getting in your loving, nurturing energy and then a sudden shift. That's what happens with divine energies, this sudden shift, right? Yeah. And they met the queen of swords. So you pulled your energy back. You made the choice for them. You made the decision for them because you weren't going to be in a love triangle is what I'm getting, right? Look, they're trying to figure out two of wands. They're trying to figure out a way back to you after this tower moment, this difficult ending that happened. They want to break this no contact. Six of swords. Yeah, you... You weren't even engaging in any conflict, right? With them. No chaos at all. But the chaos is erupting where they're at because they, look, that sudden shift, that's that divine energy, right? It's beautiful. It's nice. But don't cross it. You get to the crossroads, you can get the queen of cups or the queen of swords. And the same thing goes. 
for this divine masculine. This is a divine masculine. Yeah. So this third party thought that they could keep divine masculine with an illusion operating behind a veil, behind behind the scenes, this false person. They were false, but they thought that they could keep divine masculine. So now they met the king of swords and the king of swords don't play. Yeah, cutting ties, has cut ties. Mm-hmm. Yep, major conflict unfolding here. What else we got here, spirit? Yeah, they were delusional. This third party was delusional, believing that they could actually keep this divine masculine under false pretenses, under this whole veil, right? The truth came out. The light came out. The truth was like the light. Look, justice. Libra energy on the board. Yeah. What else we got here, spirit? Please give us more. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Oh, they want to take action to come back towards you. They just don't know how you feel about them. This divine masculine's current intentions is that they really want to take action quick, eight of wands, to come towards you. Yeah. Yes. They are ready to make a move forward. They miss you. They love you, Divine Feminine. They regret what happened. With, they regret their past behavior and how look where they ended up. They are so unhappy. They are so unhappy with this third party, or they were. Something of, oh, see, this third party said something. This third party said something, something concerning you, and they seen divine masculine don't play about you. Seven of wands. See, now they done crossed the line, right? Because there's a soul agreement, a soul contract. You guys are connected. You guys are bound by a, a, a past life agreement, right? So this is deeper than just a surface level. Even though you guys are separated, huh, this divine masculine don't play about you. It's like, it doesn't matter what happens, what goes on between you guys at the end of the day child i feel like you don't play about them neither yeah but i feel like huh this third party tried to get a little reckless they tried to talk reckless about you say some things or something like that and divine masculine stepped up like wait a minute now you going a little too far now you talking about my divine feminine you said what so now this third party is really losing it, unhinged, right? Because they see right there. Not only did Divine Masculine tell them this, look, this is not a game. Not only did Divine Masculine tell them, this is not an illusion, but they showed them. They tried to say something reckless about you. That's what I'm picking up on. This third party's over there going off, all of this chaos erupting over you this chaos is erupting over you divine feminine yep mm. look this divine masculine then said they want to come back towards you chariot card they already have stated their true intentions to this third party concerning you told you king of swords energy divine masculine is over there not playing i'm look the conflict is erupting all about you divine feminine uh, nothing changes how they see you you're beautiful your light shines so bright you're the empress you're the empress nurturing loving energy a healer, an alchemist. You have so many beautiful qualities, right? It's like you have, it's all, 
It's like you were tailor-made for them. You have everything they need, everything that they want. And that's because you are tailor-made for them. Yeah. They want to build a future with you. Uh-huh. They want to build a future with you, Divine Feminine. Wow. Look at this. A new beginning. A bright new beginning. Mm. They want to forget. I, they want you to forget about the past. That's what I'm getting. They want to build a future with you. And they want to figure out how to get you to forget about the past, right? Yeah. They've learned their lesson. This is karma, right? They're living in this karmic cycle. Lessons learned. Look, they want to come back with their cup of love for divine feminine. Look, I told you this is divine intervention. Look, bringing you guys together. Yeah, this is the universe. This divine masculine, I feel like, is manifesting you. This is like a master manifester, right? Divine masculine has their, their spiritual gifts as well. Yeah. They lay awake at night thinking about you, trying to will you towards them is what I'm getting. Uh-huh. Trying to bring you back to them. Because... This no contact, and you made it so clear. You made it crystal clear. It was crystal clear that you you were pulling back your energy. You weren't going to tolerate what was going on. And this divine masculine's been trying to telepathically speak to you, trying to will you back, trying to manifest you back. But I feel like you feel this energetic pull because divine feminine, you are intuitive yourself right i could be speaking to a reader a light worker a star seed a psychic here a spiritual counselor what i just told you there's the magician the master manifester willing you back towards them this divine masculine knows look you have everything that they want and need right They've been so focused on you. They're staring at your pictures. This divine masculine is really staring at your picture. Oh, this is some intense energy here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know you have this energetic pull. There's an energetic pull. I this divine masculine is willing you back towards them, holding on very tight to you. Oh, they want to be back in union. The lover's card. They want you back. They want you back. I feel like there's going to be a leap of faith. This divine masculine is going to leap forward like in faith, hoping that you will still be open. You'll open your heart because they have clarity now. They get it. They're just hoping that you'll be receptive to their love offer. Look at this. Balance. Mm. They want to be aligned with you. They're trying to align with you. The universe is bringing you guys into alignment. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. This ain't easy, though. Because they really messed up with you. This is not easy. Yeah. Yeah. And they're over here losing it. This conflict is erupting over you. This chaos is erupting over you with this third party. Mm-hmm. They are over here losing it. Mm. Ciao. They're trying to figure out a way to get back towards you. Yeah. What else we got? Mm. I'm seeing a public victory with your emperor. Aries energy on the board. This is your divine masculine. This is your divine counterpart, your soul partner. Their current energy. This is their current energy. Their intentions are to come back towards you. To take a leap of faith. Getting the courage to come towards you. Because that queen of, queen of swords energy is nothing to play with. Ciao. Let's go ahead and pull some more Oracle cards and get a deeper look. Let's take a closer look 
at this divine masculine's current energy towards you during this no contact yeah or during this separation right wow they regret putting you in this third party situation i can tell you that yeah this person definitely regrets putting you in this third party situation mm. yes they do what else we got yeah it was almost like they were immature. I feel like it backfired. There's something backfired about this, right? Yeah, bringing you into this third-party situation. Look, they're hoping you still have faith in them and in this connection. I told you, you are protected. This Divine Masculine protects you even though you guys are separated or in no contact. I will always protect you even if we are not together, period. Mmm, boundaries are around their heart that only you can cross. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They have faith and hope in this connection. Yeah, I feel like, it, you know, energetically, look, oh, I love you. I know this divine masculine is still in love with you very deeply in love. They never stop loving you, right? Yeah, putting you in competition, that backfired. Yeah. Chow. This is something, this divine masculine is stuck on you. Look, follow your bliss. I'm seeing here, go with your intuition, go with your feeling. It's safe to love them. I'm hearing it's safe to love them. It is safe. This divine masculine has learned their lesson. Mm-hmm. This is their current feelings. Like, this divine masculine, hidden emotions, they want you to know that it's safe to love them. We did have that Pisces energy showing up. Yeah. Could be a Pisces Aquarius cusp with that moon card. This divine masculine wants you. Yeah, they're wanting you. Wow, a lot of intensity behind it, too. Mm. There's a lot of intensity behind this divine masculine. Mm -hmm. Wow. Changing. They've changed. This divine masculine, yeah, they, they were fragmented, distorted. They stepped backwards. Divine, divine, the divine was shifting them towards you, right? They were ascending. They were coming into frequency with you. They got intimidated and stepped backwards with this codependent energy. Communication. They're taking a leap of faith to come towards you. There's going to be communication. They need to talk to you. This person needs to talk to you. They need to be close to you. They need to feel close to you is what I'm getting, right? They want to reach out to you. They're hoping that you'll be open to receive communication from them. And I'm getting that this is happening soon. I seen the eight of wands earlier. I'm seeing here open for, for you to open your heart to this communication soon. I keep hearing soon. Something's happening soon, near future. They're going to go off of your energy is what I'm getting. This divine masculine is going to go off of your energy. I feel like they've made up their mind that they're going to have to accept. However you respond to them and that they're afraid. They're afraid that they've lost you forever. They're hopeful, but there, there's a fear there, right? Yeah. Oh, child, that was deep. Oh, what else we got here? Mm-hmm, look, they were insecure. They were insecure. Oh, my goodness. You treat me better than I've ever been treated by anyone. Yeah, that loving, nurturing energy that Divine Feminine has. They were stepping into their divine power. They were stepping into the light. It was like they were moving beyond any type of fake energy, phony energy. 
they finally came across you. You were real. You know, you weren't false, right? Yeah, you didn't have any other motives, any other, um, no ulterior motives, no codependent energy, right? You just really genuinely cared deeply for them, cared about how their day was going, how they felt, you know? That type of energy. And they got insecure. They're like, this has got to be a setup, right? Or they felt as though it was like they didn't feel like they were enough for you. Yeah. They didn't feel like they were enough for you. Because they were ascending. They weren't even adjusted into their divine masculine energy yet. See? Yeah, divine guidance. You guys, they were guided towards you. I'm amazed the universe brought you guys together. Things were falling into place, but I'm getting that things are going to continue to fall into place because the universe, the divine source is working behind the scenes, right? Because this is a love that's meant to be. This is your divine counterpart, right? This is your soul partner. Yeah. Oh, their current intentions, leap of faith. I keep hearing that leap of faith, taking a leap of faith to come towards you, divine feminine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, this who third party is losing it. What else we got, spirit? Oh, yeah, they're losing it. This chaos is erupting over you because this divine masculine told him straight up. I regret this. How did I even get here with you? Why am I with you? That type of energy. Like, I see who you are. Intuitively, this divine masculine could see right through. Once, once their divine power, their divine energy was activated, they were no longer in frequency with this codependent energy and they could see right through them. Look, look at my voice. <clears throat> That's his third party. That's some karmic energy. You don't want this to come out. They're embarrassed because their divine masculine sees them for who they truly are. Once they were awakened, they could see things. They had a lot more clarity. They could see things through their higher self. They connected with their higher self, this divine masculine, and they could see right through this fake third party. They could see through the mask. The mask is off. Divine masculine could see right through them. This is like a phony false person, right? With ulterior motives. Divine masculine wants a future with you. Look at that. Yeah, promise. They want to make a commitment with you. They want to reconcile. They want to reconnect. They want to fix this, right? They're hoping that you will forgive them. Didn't I tell y'all? Soon. Soon. Yes. We will be together in the near future. Soon. Yeah. They don't want you to doubt their love for you. And they're going to put in the work so that you know so that you are secure in the love that they have for you, right? They don't want you to doubt this connection that was written in the stars. This connection was written in the stars? Yes, look at this. They've been working on being their best self for you. They've definitely been disconnected, right? They're, they're focused. They're not able to focus, right? They need your energy by them. You're their other half. Wow. Sleepless nights. Lonely days. Ciao. Wow. Look at this. Losing sleep over you. You're going to get an apology. And then boom. New beginning. Ciao. Mm. New beginnings. There's a new beginning starting. You guys are being brought into, you guys are a vibrational match, but you guys are being brought into frequency together. Yeah, you are. Mm-hmm. And I feel like you can feel that energetic pull, divine feminine, because you are a divine feminine and you also are 
very intuitive. You're tapped into your higher self, right? You can see things from a higher perspective is what I'm getting. And through that higher perspective, I feel like you are definitely picking up on this divine masculine's energy. I feel like you're picking up on this chaos that's erupting over you with this third party, with your person. Because they love you. A lot of regrets, a lot of despair, right? But the painful truth was revealed. Mm-hmm. And I'm seeing a new beginning with you guys. Wow. Y'all, I'm leaving this reading here. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by as always. And I will see you guys for your next reading. Until next time, guys, take care. Love ya. Bye.